previously on Minecraft Story Mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend... <sighs> Such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. Of a better Jesse. <laughs> and now Jesse is trapped underground forever. One more ungrateful loser buried away. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> to fortify these tunnels into town. Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was... Well, she was a little much. But having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. I guess. She still scared me, though. She already helped us a lot. The portal? Buying us time to get up here? Yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. Uh, maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the Admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that heck mouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Just remember, Petra. Things look bad for us. But who knows what horrible things are happening to our friends. The people in Beacon Town. Right now. Uh, great pep talk? I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us. And we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! My, that was loud. Here we go.
guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is. The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We gotta find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Guys! Admin! And... He's with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. Typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are going to need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to at all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town, like Champion City, for example. And... Oop! I think the admin's distracted. Yeah. We should go grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. What? You were always so worried about Champion City, and now... One less thing to worry about. My... my friends and... my people? They're... gone. Olivia! Axel! Double? Shh. Jesse, I... What is... Come on. I'll explain everything. But we have to get off the streets. To the map shop. Quick. beneath the bedrock? Yeah, I still think he made that part up. I mean, I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside? Axel and I almost did. And we're your oldest friends. I mean, if we couldn't tell, I... I'll just have to make them understand what happened. Make them? I suppose if anyone could make them listen, it'd be you. But you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Petra! Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but no 
Nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city. Gone. In an instant. It's insane. It's our fault. No, Jesse, don't do that. We're why the admin is here in the first place. Everything that happens now is on us. I'm so glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. I'm almost glad Nermi doesn't have to see the old girl looking like this. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. Nothing to worry about. We've got our best fighter here with us. As much as I appreciate the <coughs> completely accurate compliment, this is the admin we're talking about. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. You okay there, Jack? Ah, uh, fine, I guess. Just feeling a little violated at someone coming in here and robbing the place. Priceless artifacts and mementos gone. Everything ransacked. I don't know if it was the admin, looters, what I... Uh... I think we've all lost stuff at this point, Jack. But we're all in this together. And we're gonna fight back. Yeah. Yeah. You're totally right. In the meantime, we'll keep looking around. Might be something useful in here yet. Uh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. Nobody wanted to take these. Too bad they don't help us, though. Doing okay, Luna? <coughs> yeah, I know it's scary. We're gonna get through it, though. Poor Llama. <coughs> What's up, Jesse? You two haven't seen Lucas around, have you? We got separated when the admin zapped us to his prison. No, he... he's just been... missing. Kinda went underground. I'm... I'm sure he's okay, though. When you thought the admin was me, did he tell you anything? About a terminal, maybe? No. The guy's a jerk. Never answered a single question. He does spend a lot of time in that floating tower, though. Would she never let us go to? What brought you both back to Beacon Town? Yeah, we, uh... We heard something weird was going on. I had no idea how weird until we saw the lava, though. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. We'll be here. Keeping an eye out. <laughs> You really think that someone might try to get in? Don't know. Not taking any chances. It's like our home is still here, but it's not home, you know? Hey, we'll make things right, okay? Yeah, I know. But seeing what happened to Champion City has me a little more worried than I'd like, you know? I'll be fine. Go help Jack. I think we're going to be able to read our way up to the tower. Hey, Binta. Adjusting okay? Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. 
If we defeat Romeo, that is. We will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. forgotten about that stash are these elytra wings those are super rare yeah got them one time when i made a trip to the end nothing better for gliding what was that Sight again, Nerm. Never again. <laughs> but how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. Ah! Ah! Ivor, what on earth were you just doing hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you. Oh, oh my! Oh my gosh! Do you know who that is? That is Ivor, founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend, standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. And my shop is a complete wreck. Trust me, Jack. Best thing around Ivor, just be yourself. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Thanks, Jesse. Well, here goes. Ivor, of the Order of the Stone? Whew. This is quite the pleasure. Well, yes! Of course it is! And you are... Oh, me? Oh, I'm, uh, the, uh, the, uh, stock, the, uh, stab, well, from the... I'm, uh, <laughs> nobody. Uh, how are you? <laughs> He's Jack. Oh, well, hello! Always nice to meet a fan. <gasps> uh, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. Fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. Story about you rotting away in prison forever? Big success. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult, and took many, many days of intense mental activity. And a very large hole in the side of the Sunshine Institute, which I'm sure no one will notice. Hey. Hey. I can't believe that you risked your life for us. You could have died. What if Ivor hadn't gone back? <laughs> Nerm, you are a treasure. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes, I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. Let me guess. There's guards, right? Yes, yes! Though I requested a post there, the admin appointed special golems to patrol the place. Just, uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, I'm talking out. You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. That's actually not a bad idea. I could try. Right? I mean, if you could get me to talk about my feelings, it might be worth a shot. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but Elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? 
Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. We'll never get backstage without fireworks skilled uniforms. So we find Stella, and she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up, and boom! Backstage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. Wait, what am I doing? You're going to be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then, we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. Then, the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows we're there. See? Piece of cake. That uh, might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. After everything we've been through, I... You're wrong. Stella might have caused a lot of trouble in the past, but I know I got through to her in the Sunshine Institute. We can trust her. Sure hope you're right about that. Well, Stella does know where the fireworks guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great! Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can't, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets because Jesse is the admin! You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Jesse, I know you think Stella's on our side, but you can't trust her, okay? Be careful. I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. Time to find Stella. An ocelot? What is that for? Uh huh. This place just keeps getting weirder and weirder.
pay. Why did you destroy his home? What did Champion City do to you? Destroying homes left and right? Absolutely no regard for people's lives? What kind of leader is that? It wasn't me. It was someone disguised as me. Psh, sure, deny any accountability. You really have changed. I need this to end. Once and for all. <laughs> I did it, Jesse. I did what you asked. Now there are pork chops for everyone. Would you like to taste one? I made it myself. They're fresh. No. No, thank you. And you know what? You could change to carrots if you wanted. I'll... I'll do that. Thank you, Jesse. Maybe... Maybe I'll get some new pigs, hmm? I'll name them Dennis and Countess Pink Paisley the fourth. <laughs> Hope that didn't get this guy in trouble. Jesse, dude! Just unveiled the new statue you built, oh, yeah. It's got, um, character? Yeah, I kinda liked the old one, but... Whoa! Hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it. <laughs> yeah. Kinda feels like it's, like, following me sometimes, though, you know? Like I see it out of the corner of my eye? And just like that! Bam! Whoa! It is pretty great, isn't it? I wouldn't change a thing. Ja, ja, sure, go with your gut, totally. <laughs> came by to once again admire the update I did to my paltry first attempt at a statue. I really feel it's some of my best work. Yup, yeah, yup, yeah, coolio. Just keeping it the way it is forever. <sighs> yeah. Keep it, uh, hanging, Nelly dude. Catch you on the flip side. and banners it's not my fault i'm understaffed then hire more people force them and script them i don't care jesse Khan will be the greatest thing this town has ever seen or i will personally ensure you pay the price where the heck am i supposed to get more people bingo that's our ticket in it's now or never Perfect. Now we can- Oh, gravel. Where are those extra Jesse banners? Oh! Stella! Jesse! Back so soon! 
<laughs> Since when do you... Hmm, you're not the admin, are you? Hmm? 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 There's no use hiding the truth. I am not the admin. For I am actually the real bona fide... Jesse! I knew it! Keep your voice down, all right? I am so glad you're back. Pretending to be the other Jesse's loyal servant has been exhausting. Wait, why am I just finding out now you're back? Don't you trust me, Jesse? I thought you'd move past your competitive nature with me. I am part of your core gang. I hate being left out of the loop like this. Surely you have a reason I'm not seeing. I wanted to, but it wasn't safe to contact you with you being so close to the admin. Oh, you were protecting me. We are such best friends. Look, Stella, I need these uniforms to defeat the admin. I don't have time to explain all the- No problemo, friendo. Carry on with your top secret mission. I won't spill anything to the admin. I happen to be an excellent actor. I shall get into character. Let's just, uh, separate, okay? Roger that. Exeunt stage left! is uncanny. It's amazing. More like terrifying. What's wrong, Benta? The admin. He's right there. Right in front of me. All the suffering he's caused. Killing Fred. Inflicting sorrow on my people. He's so close. I could just charge the stage and take my justice now. Standing here idly. Seeing that Smile somehow makes it even more unbearable. He's right there, Jesse. Right there. He just looks like you right now. He's not as terrible as you paint him. You're joking, right? I just keep thinking about that tree he planted for Fred. I really think he can be redeemed. And as Jesse, you're Jesse. I'm glad we Let's go to work. <laughs> Of course, it was mandatory, but I sensed that you wanted to come anyway. No one permitted that here except... Fireworks Union, huh? Jeez, well, get back there then. Thank you. Now we can get to our jobs that we're totally qualified to do. a bucket and report back. Good luck. I hope you can pull this off. What the? There's no fireworks. Just stuff. Come on. Who plans a convention with no fireworks? That's like planning a birthday party without, you know, any fireworks. Why can't it ever be easy? <laughs> Please. When has it ever been easy? Easy or not, I can't help but notice that we still don't have any fireworks. I guess we'll just need to make some. There has to be enough supplies to craft some paper around here. Then, all we need is gunpowder and a fireworks star. Oh, that would really add some flash. We'll keep a lookout on the exits and stage. Hey, you hear? 
hearing this doof? Which proves I'm the greatest thing ever to happen in all your lives. Let's look at the mathematical proof. What a self-absorbed... Ugh. Only for a little while longer. Yeah, we'll get Beacon Town back. I can feel it. All of Beacon Town has improved from the moment I ascended as your leader. The sky is brighter. Cows are happier. Pie is sweeter. I actually don't even think it's possible for you to thank me enough. Ooh, sugarcane. of Lucas's book. Whoever owns this chest must be a fan. Once I've got a bucket, that'll be the perfect spot to fill her up. Guess that's part of the show. Admin me has taste in after-speech entertainment. Hope this isn't stupid. Gunpowder! Perfect! How are those fireworks coming? Oh, they're coming. This place is just kind of messy. Well, just be like the noble light of truth and shine through the darkness of the mess. Only then will you scatter the shadows and reveal your goal. Yeah, um, I'll work on that. Good to hear, friend. I'll keep on keeping an eye out. Okay, at least it looks like the fireworks union guys already dropped off the fireworks stars. Which one should I take? I think this one does like an awesome magenta burst. Very rad. Okay, let's get crafting. Sugar. Sweet. I think the admin is nice, but I know the truth. I did what I had to do. We've come too far to second-guess ourselves, and we can't let anyone get in our way. Even if it's a bystander. You can't take all your anger out on that one guard. He was just doing his job. Yeah, you're right. Technically, 
But his job shouldn't be pulling his sword on us. Ha! Huh, not bad. Yeah, I think we've given Binta a bit of a taste for combat. Did you get the bucket? Right here. Good luck up there. I'm going to check on my people. You're welcome back here when this is over. Thank you, Jesse, for everything. Committee was a little strict. Come on, let's get inside. Okay, I'm not the only one that finds all this silence freaky, right? This place is dead. Definitely strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now, huh? I was almost expecting, I don't know, another huge boss battle or something when we got in here. Yeah, the admin definitely seems to like those. But nothing. Yeah, after everything we've been through trying to get in here and take the admin's powers, having a teeny tiny bit of a break is kind of nice. I thought so too. down, Ocelots. Lucas! Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That... that's enough. Oops! S -s Sorry. Oh man, I'm so happy to see you. I can't believe how long it's been. What are you talking about? 
We just talked the other day, remember? Your whole speech about how if I couldn't get in line, I could just hit the road. No. Hang on, everyone. No. It's our turn to talk. Not yours. Not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, but... Because the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas! So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, and telling us our builds were ugly. Wow, I am so glad you guys are all free. I didn't do any of this. What are you talking about? You were laughing, gloating as you teleported people away. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is... No. How do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss, the admin did the same thing with him. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did that... That wasn't really you. Okay. Yeah. It's you. Well, now that we have that sorted out... What in the world are we gonna do next? Wait, why are you even in here? We're trying to get to something called the Terminal. We have a... a... word of passage. <coughs> Potato! That we can apparently use to take away the admin's powers for good. Yeah, a lot of that was way over my head, especially the potato, but I'm in. You just lead the way, and the new ocelots will have your back. Well, would you look at this. Romeo's quite the Jesse memorabilia collector. I know we don't have much time, but it might be smart to suit up properly. Agreed. Now that's armor for an admin confrontation. Romeo won't know what to do when I'm coming at him in this one. The perfect blend of stealth and style. It's like armor from the future. I love the gold accents on this one. Flashy, but ferocious. Something tells me Magnus would hate the admin. Only room for one crazed egomaniac. Ah, the armor of Tim. I think I once heard Radar say this one was his favorite. Bet that could be the admin's bane, too. Let's do this, Dragon Bane. Now you look like you're ready for a showdown. Agreed. Aw, oh, thanks, guys. Time to end this. Ocelots! Oh! Okay, if I were a terminal, what would I look like? Why, hello there. Wasn't expecting you. Oh, crud. What's the move here, Jesse? Maybe you're confused, but this is my office. Heard there might have been people trying to break in, so here I am. Ocelots, charge! <laughs> Excuse me? Nope, 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 Big nope.
What? Where are they? Where'd they go? Ugh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja Ivor told me you were still in the Sunshine Institute. Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... Ugh, bad. And he was only telling you what I told him to tell you. This is between you and me. I suppose you're right. So, let me guess what your plan is here. See if I've really got the... the Jesse thing down. You want to slug it out, Jesse a Jesse, to take back your face and control of Beacon Town, right? No. I know you're way too powerful for me to fight one-on-one. -on -one. Don't know if you've noticed, but your people out there, your friends, they just love the new you. I'm the best Jesse that's ever been. <laughs> the posters, the adoration. I heard there's even a parade later. Yeah, I gotta admit, you've done some amazing things with Beacon Town. But it's time to stop, Romeo. <sighs> I know. You... you do? <sighs> I know I was all fiery and mad when you first showed up, but it's just as well. Blimey! I had no idea being you was going to be this difficult! Wait, what? Oh yeah! I'm, I'm, I'm bloody exhausted! The, the constant whining, everyone asking for things all the time. Ugh, it's insufferable! I need iron blocks! I better bricks! I don't want to be surrounded by lava! Well, I'm back now. I could help you. Take back over? Yeah! Uh, yeah. Yeah, I suppose you could. Yeah. It's just... It was fun at first. I show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. <laughs> you know, you know what's funny? You've made me see something. I mean, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the, the genuine article. <laughs> yeah, maybe that is the best way to proceed. I'm really glad you think so. Because I think that's a good idea. Oh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. Well, this has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. Next time? Yeah, the, the next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm going to get it totally right with that one. No! A whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader, a great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these, these wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Oh, maybe, maybe I'll have more fjords in the next one. Oh, I love a good fjord. Now, hang on a second, Romeo. We can still be friends. You don't have to bedrock over anything. Yeah? You, you really think so? Yes. Mm. Nah, bedrocking time. Oh, well. Toodles! Oh, this doesn't seem good. You guys are okay. Yeah. He just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Whew, such a jerk.
gotta stop this! We need to take his powers away. Find the terminal space. The roof! That's where the admin keeps his portal to the terminal thing. Go! Come on! We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up. is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. Yeah, kind of hard to make sense of it all. Hashtag potato 451! It was, uh, it was a good thought, but... Uh... Password protocol initiated. It's him! Oh. It's just more of his stupid recordings. You've selected Password Protocol. Oh, it's like an automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Well, shall we? So, wait, he has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here too. Kinda makes me feel bad for him, actually. to begin a new program. I... that was all over my head. Password, password, password. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato 451. Hmm, don't think that's exactly right. Is this thing? And what does it have to do with Potato 451? It's empty? Waiting for material request. I mean, it must be talking about the potato, right? Sounds right to me. Uh, potato? Please? Acquiring potatoes! Items dispensed. Thank you! 
Wait, two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison. But it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something. Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Huh. Gotta figure out which one is correct. I hope this is right. I still need to enter the rest of the Word of Passage. Won't know if this is right or not till I do. That's exactly right. Let's try this one. I still need to enter the rest of the Word of Passage. Won't know if this is right or not till I do. Maybe this will do the trick. I still need to enter the rest of the Word of Passage. Won't know if this is right or not till I do. Sounds like progress, right? Pirate Party Protocol initiated! Uh... I'm, uh... I'm guessing that's not quite right. Agreed. Sorry, parrots. recording well I guess the worst has happened and you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers it'd be easier that way but making this gauntlet was the best I could do Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo... normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Then good luck, Sara. You're... Well, I think you might need it. Here goes nothing. What do you think you're doing? What's happening? We're here to stop you, Romeo. Once and for all. I told you. Your world's done. No take that! <laughs> J 
Jesse, hurry! I thought we could still be friends. Yeah. Huh. Figures. This temple, this challenge, was my first gift to you. Now, it's going to be where I bury you. Out of platform, Jesse. Ah. Nowhere to run. Little worn thing. 
I wonder who did that? Uh, I'm not listening to you, Admin. No? That's a shame. Here I thought it would be a nice way of working through some things. Romeo. Powers don't make anyone special. That's who you are. How you act. Don't you judge me! You don't get to judge me! Give me back uh, that gauntlet! That's the cause of all this! Let go! Over. You can say that again. How's that level playing field feel, huh, jerk? Get away from me!
wanted. I'd rather die than let you beat me! I am gonna destroy you! All of you! All of you! Once I get my hands back on that gauntlet! make everything so difficult. Everyone likes you. And you're nothing. Hey, we're not the ones trying to rule the world. What? No, no, I'm not. I just... I just wanted people to... People to... Place is held together by my powers. No more powers. No more terminal zone. <laughs> We're doomed. We're gonna get buried if we don't get out of here pronto. What about him? What about him? He's not our problem anymore. But look at him. He'll never make it out of here on his own. Oh, she's right. Just, just leave me. My power. It was just. Frosting on a, on a cake. An empty, worthless cake. No, this is where I belong. This is where I'll pay for what I've done. I can't believe that, that this is what it took for me to realize. Oh, I've been just so stupid, so blind. You can still fix things, Romeo. No matter what you've done, you're still a person. Like everyone else. You can be redeemed. Redeemed? You... You really believe that, don't you? Jesse, now's the time. We gotta go. Go on, leave me. I deserve to stay in this oblivion. Come on, this place is falling apart. We can decide what happens to him later. Let's grab him and go. Now! You're not staying here. That would be the coward's way out. Come on! If the lava gets to that portal before we do, we'll be stuck here forever! Let's move!
too soon. Oh my gosh! It starts to follow me, right? Right? Nah, I think you're in the clear, Slim. Hey, nice work. Thank you. Sincerely. I hardly believe that I deserve to be here at all anymore. I do know what I need to do to make up for my crimes, though. I'm gonna return to the underneath. Try to help all the people I left behind. Fix all the lives I... ruined. And I'm gonna try and find Zara. See if I can't make things right between us. I mean, it doesn't make up for what I... What I did to Fred. But if I can heal things with Zara, well, it's something at least. And. and no more admin powers. Everything I do now will just be the normal way. Hope I can still remember how the normal way even works. It'll probably be a shock at first, but. I think she'd like to try and reconcile too. Yeah, I hope so. She's. Sort of the only friend I have left now. Save the world again, huh? Doesn't that ever get old? Why, yes, thank you for noticing. Thought we'd fit in a light bit of world saving before afternoon pie time. Happy to see you all in one piece, too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that the admin? Is he- Don't worry. He's not the admin anymore. This is Romeo. Well, that's a relief. No more admins for me, thank you very much. I agree with that 112%, Blondie. But Jesse, after everything he did, do you... Do you really think he deserves to go free? What if he hurts more people? He might... He might have been better off where he was. I know he was terrible. But... I saw him sitting there and... I just couldn't do it. Even if he did deserve it, I just couldn't live with myself if I trapped him there. Well, that's because you're a good person, Jesse. But... I just hope it was the right decision. What do you guys say we head home? I say, way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> me too! Man, I cannot wait to put on a shirt again! I am approaching you from this direction, and am coming to speak with you. No ninja trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. Both my actions and my intentions are crystal clear. Huh. After all the times you've snuck up on me recently, I appreciate that. Precisely my intention! My days of sneaking up on people are behind me. So, no more... Ninja Ivor, then? Ha! Huh. No, no. I decided it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. Starting with trying to heal the rift between my old friends. Ellie will be easy. Just need to stop by Redstonia. Last I heard, Gabriel was doing the wandering warrior thing. Oh man, that's awesome! They're gonna be so excited! You think so? That's certainly the way I'm hoping it will happen. Well, I suppose it's time for me to go. 
This has been fun, though, hasn't it? Jesse! Jesse, hey! What's up, Radar? I was just saying goodbye to... <sighs> Guess ninja habits die hard. I, uh, hope you don't mind, but uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? Really stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. And it's been stressful, but also fun. So like fun, stressful, stress fun. Anyway, I think I've been doing a pretty good job. You've definitely been stepping it up. I'm really proud of you. Oh, wow. This is best day. Whoa! Oh, hey, Luna. Anyway, uh, so with Champion City gone, I was going to make Luna a new llama house and get her set up here in Beacon Town while I help out up there. But, uh, before I did, I thought I'd uh, double check and see if you'd already you'd been planning on, you know, uh, watching out for her. Seeing, you know, that she likes you so much and all. If you've already built her a llama house when I haven't been around, I, I just wouldn't want to double up. Which, by the way, I'd be okay with you doing if you'd already built one. I can tell you mean a lot to each other. In your own weird ways. I wouldn't want to come between that. Yes, yes, that's true. I really am sorry for how I acted, Luna. How I treated you. And I hope that if you'll stay with me, you'll let me prove that I can be better. Oh, Luna, darling. I can't tell you how much this means. Oh. I do want to sincerely thank you, Jesse, for everything. You saw me at my worst, and you still thought I was worth saving. That, well, that makes me want to try to be better at being my best. Hoping I can start by helping clean up this dump. <laughs> what can I say? I looked below the surface and saw that you probably weren't the worst all the way down. What was that about Stella being the worst? <sighs> hey, Stella and I were just talking about what a crazy road it's been. Yeah, no kidding. Yes, well, we need to be running. Oh, and thank you again for everything. Now, you got everything you need, all packed and double-checked? Yes, Jack. This is very, you know, bittersweet for me, you know. Goodbyes are no good. Hey. Hmm. That we have, Nermi. So, I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. So, you're leaving, apparently? For how long? Honestly, probably a while. But, it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to, like, grow, or whatever. Anyway, I'm about to say goodbye to everyone, and I- ah! Come here. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Promise oh, broken. Oh, jeez. It'll be okay. So Petra's heading off into the Great Unknown, huh? <laughs> I figured. Definitely sounds exciting. Could start a new town, find temples or dungeons or... whatever you hack and slash types do. I bet Petra would extend the invite. You could go too. I appreciate that, but... I think it's time I settled down here. I just got the ocelots back together. Thought maybe I'd work on a new book. Hey! You guys are missing out on prime group hug action. Ah, no air. Actually dying. Ah. <sighs> you don't think this is like the last time we'll all be together, do you? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if Petra's leaving, even if it is, no matter what, 
we'll always be best friends. And I know that you'll all be the best friends I ever had. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna get out of here before I... <laughs> Too late. Bye, guys. Be safe out there, okay? The safest. And when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Back in the admin's cabin, I, I know you promised that we'd always stick together. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Wait, you're leaving? Yeah, I think Petra and I are gonna hit the road for a while. Huh. Sounds pretty awesome, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it does. But, but without you here, who will run Beacon Town? Things are peaceful now, but danger could still strike at any time. Uh, the people could, uh, they could revolt or something. Who do you think, pal? You? Me? Really? Yeah. I hereby promote you from intern to hero in residence. Thanks, boss. This, uh, you have been, you are. What I'm trying to say is that I promise I'll make you proud. You already have. Everyone's going to miss you, you know? And I'm going to miss them, too. But if anyone ever really needs me, I'll be around. Hoping you'd be interested in a race. Ha! You're on! 